Welcome to Three Blind Mike's Podcast, sponsored by the Family Proud, Family Strong Network. Follow their journey as John Jay, the real hot rod, Cleet Stradamus, and Portis, the assassin, deliver the bottom line on the greatest pop culture entertainment debates of then and now. The Three Blind Mikes won't know the topic of the show until the show begins, which surely will lead to an unscripted and uncentered good time. Now, let's go in blind on the road to nowhere. It was such a Christmas movie, they actually shot the second one around Christmas. Yeah, absolutely. And released it on, you know, 4th of July weekend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, but that's the thing about it, though. You know, you, you look at it from Hollywood's perspective, you know, you know, for in terms of the, the movies that move us, that truly give us that that message of Jesus, the message of Christmas. When it comes to, to nothing compares to its wonderful life. But if you're looking at the great secular Christmas movies of all time, things that you're going to, fi- you know, most families are going to fire up with their kids. I mean, you're talking about stuff like Home Alone. You know, you're talking about stuff like or, exactly a Christmas story. You know, you're talking about Bad Miracle Santa. on 34th Street. Bad Santa is a great. Yes. Now, Bad Santa is a great movie. But here's the thing. It, it, by your definition, is it a true Christmas movie or is it just a secular movie about a really a really dirty Santa that who you know makes his living you know you know around Christmas time you, I get, you see he's turning my logic against me <laughs> it's really not fair but um, <laughs> I'm going to say yes because I don't remember John McClane ever donning the uh, I think he wears a Christmas sweater at some point but he yes. doesn't. He doesn't don the little, whatever that hat is that Santa wears. <laughs> yeah, the old, uh, the old Santa, uh, the old Santa. You know the, the yeah. What would you call that? It's just a, it's uh, very. It, it, it's a, a cone. It's a cone hat. Um, yeah. Without the stuffing. Uh, a Kris Kringle cone hat. Or yeah. Something, so, something like that. Well, you know what? No, it looks like it looks like. Remember those bugles? Those chips mm-hmm. that were called bugles? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a bugle hat. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, but but we think about it, though. Now you you're sitting down with your family on on Christmas Eve. Obviously, if if you really want to capture that element of Christmas this year, we're gonna go. It's a Wonderful Life. But if you want something lighthearted, I mean, let's talk about this. What is the what are some of the quintessential Christmas films uh, of all time? I mean, you know, if, if you're in the mood for laughs, you know, you National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation has got to be up there all time. Yeah, all. Oh. Yeah, oh. without question. I mean, a, a film that you can quote endlessly. Endlessly on end and not get tired of. Portis, what would be your vote for I maybe say, the most? I, well, you know, I I wanted I forgot that I was gonna say planes, trains, and automobiles, but that's Thanksgiving, isn't it? Yeah, that's a Thanksgiving film. Yeah, it takes yeah. place place. Uh, yeah, uh, on um, the, Home the Alone weekend. Is great. Up. Home Alone is great. Um, and in fact, in Home Alone, there it's a Wonderful Life in French. See. Yeah, I'm gonna but, give you the, the count of ten to get you no good yellow keister <laughs> off my property. Well, One, here's a here's an underrated two, uh, ten. Uh, here's an underrated show that um the one the Christmas season that's very underrated and you know which does get no credit whatsoever is uh Christmas Charlie Brown. Yeah, oh, well, that's a I, great one. That, that's it, a really, it, yeah. It's a great one. I, I think you're right. It gets overlooked, I think, Jay, because it's a Christmas special. And I, I think also, too, that there's so many Christmas specials. I, I think it kind of gets lost in that shuffle of, you know, Frosty the Snowman, you know, uh, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, you know, the old school classics from when we were growing up. And then Fake. for today's kids, I mean, you've got, you know, uh, Olaf's Frozen Adventure, you know, Paw Patrol. They're, Paw Patrol yeah. has like a thousand different Christmases and Hanukkahs and Kwanzaa's and, and everything. So it does, it, it, it gets lost in the shuffle. It is timeless, but with a great message against, you know, commercialism and the capitalization of Christmas. Right. Uh, but yeah, it just, it's kind of, you know, just kind of, kind of become lost among the snowballs of all the thousands and thousands of, of Christmas television specials there every year. Yeah. And it's just saturated, you know, with the secular and mix it with, you know, all the other, you know, you know, maybe issues and they, you know, attempt to sneak in, you know, different things, but with, with Charlie Brown Christmas, come on, man, Charlie Brown still gets jacked 
on Christmas. Yeah, he still didn't get to kick the football, right? He didn't no, get no, to kick that, the football. And, Lucy was, I think she was a psychopath, okay? Um, you know, Charlie Brown, he's just, a, you know, he gets damaged in every one of those shows. Well, yeah, um, it, it, exactly. It's just not, it's not just Christmas time. Jay, it's Thanksgiving, it's Halloween, yeah. it's St. Patrick's Day, it's yeah. Valentine's Day. You know, he never gets to cat. You know, never get finds out. You know, never even find. Did he even find out the name of the redheaded girl that he had the crush on? I mean, you know, but Portis, you've had your bad luck on Christmas Eve, but Charlie Brown is a, is a as a young man who's never had a lucky day in his life. Yeah, I guess I I, I guess I can take some solace in that. Yeah, Thank I mean, what is he? He's eight year. He's eight years old and he's already bald. I mean, come on. Yeah, he lost his hair. All the stress and anxiety. Everybody just disrespects him, um, and I and I shame the writers for that. There is not <laughs> one episode that he gets any kind of freedom or any kind of joy. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. but the Three Blind Mics is sponsored by the Family Proud Family Strong Network via YouTube, empowered by the Digital Media Productions. <laughs>